So for this video, the first thing we need I will do is update my system. And while that happens, let me tell you what this video is all about. If you need a very minimalistic screen recorder, basically, or if you're making your Hyperland system and you don't want OBS or something like really fancy like that to rec just record your screen and the desktop audio, then this is the best tool you can get. The potential is endless since, again, this is ran on a terminal and there's a lot you can do. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video if you do find it helpful. And make sure to check out the shop or support me on my Patreon to watch these videos entirely ad free. And other than that, let's get right into it. After this update is done, God, this is a huge update. So now that our long awaited update is done, we can actually get some work done. So first, let me show you how to install the package. So it is called WF Recorder. Again, it's a pretty simple tool. So let me just make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see and that's about it and you can see it's a really lightweight tool it's basically 0 0.10 megabytes so if you don't need any fancy tools this is the best thing you can get so to run it uh, you can see that you can't find it in an app launcher i don't know if it updates or not but it's basically mostly run on the terminal so you have to kind of use scripts or just run it from the terminal and the most basic usage of this is uh, before I show you that, I'd like to make a quick note to kind of illustrate what it can do. And I'll go along with how it is done. Uh, so first, uh, the full screen recording. Yeah. Now we just have to type in WF Recorder and dash F and just give it a file name. Uh, first, I'll just, I would like to make a directory to keep everything organized. So I'll just get in there and now let's go one at a time. So we can do WF recorder dash F and in here we have to specify a file name. So let's say I'll call it fullsrec.mp4. Now the dot mp4 or dot whatever your file action does matter because it will take on that codex. If you do mkv, it will actually export it in mkv. So I'll just do a simple recording and then to close it, use control C. Do not close the terminal because it may corrupt the video file. So just use control C to actually view it. And I'll just use MPV to view the file. There you go. As you can see it by default captures the entire screen. So as you can see, it works pretty well. So let's see what else it can do. Now, this is great and all, but there are a few dependencies that we need to worry about. Uh, first up, FFMPG. So this is very important for this basically uh, screen recorder. Like without it, FMPG don't work. You need WLAN clients and WLAN protocol. But WLAN clients and protocol are mostly installed by default if you're using something that depends on WLAN. Uh, for example, Hyperlan, uh, even KDE, like LXQD, like whichever thing that depends on WLAN, these things are installed by default. But again, it, in case it isn't, it, they're not particularly difficult to install. So this is basically the command that you need. And I don't think Wayland client is available, but Wayland protocol is. So these two are the packages that you need. And I think with, um, like installing the default Wayland should get clients. I may be wrong, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Like tell me in the comments if that's not it. So our full screen record works. Uh, don't worry, I get over this like file very soon. Uh, now I want to test out partial recording. So uh, recording a part of your screen instead of the whole thing. Maybe you want to show one part of your screen. So th for that, you need something called slurp. And again, slurp just makes the whole thing a bit easier. And here's a command that you need to if you want to use one part of your screen. So just do WL recorder dash G. So G is, I think, short for geometry. And then use this right here. So it basically takes slurp and just gives it as an output into the screen recorder, I would assume. I don't know. And if I just use same quotation for both, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, if you just press enter and you can see my whole screen went white and I can select one part of the screen that I want to record. So let me just say I want this part to be recorded and it will start recording. So let me just again do a quick record. Just open up Firefox. There you go. It is open. I'll just close this. Hit control C and it should be recorded. And this time keep note that I didn't specify any file name and it recorded as recording.mkv. 
So, did you catch that? So, there you go. It is recording at MPV. And as you can see, it has recorded a simple part of it instead of going for the whole thing. So, we can also specify file names again by just using the flag dash F. And I, I don't know why I forgot the flag, but <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see, it does prompt you that the file already exists. And if you want to continue or not, so we don't want it. I want to actually specify the file name. So I have to do dash F. This will specify the file name. And then we can just select the part we want to record. And that should be it. And as you can see, it is pretty easy to use. Like even if it is a terminal based program, it's not like really difficult commands. And it's pretty straightforward. So let me just play this. So as you can see, it looks pretty well. Now we can also modify this with dash dash audio, which will record the audio. So if you have been using the previous ones, uh, those do not record the audio by default, but you have to use the audio flag to tell it, well, you need to record audio as well. And unfortunately, I am running this on a VM. Uh, so, and Hyper-V VM on that matter, and I don't have the audio passed through. So yeah, sorry about that, <laughs> but it should work. So there you go, it is recording. And let's see the results of the recording. So if I just use MPV and just type the file name, there you go. As you can see, it did record and well, it I don't know if it recorded audio or not because I couldn't test it. But again, make sure to test it out yourself and let me know in the comments below if it did work for you. So there are also a lot of flags in here. You can do you can check out the GitHub page for this. So I'll put it down in the description below. So make sure to check it out. And there is a lot of commands on there. Or you can just use WL record dash H, which will, or H, which will do the same thing and tell you what it does. Now, you can also specify frame rates. So you know, by default, it is like almost a thousand. Like it will go up to however much your GPU supports. So make sure to lock it down. So let me see if I can show you guys like the frame rates of one of these files. So in properties, uh, I don't think it's in here. Uh, I'll get a tool to show you the properties of this. So I got this tool called Media Info. And this one basically gives us information on different types of media. And it's a pretty handy tool, pretty easy to use. I didn't get the GUI, I do get it eventually. But Media Info. And then just type in the file name, whichever one we want. I'll just look for the full like audio rig this one uh, since we didn't specify anything in here now uh, let me see if i can find the frame rates uh where is it uh, there you go uh, as you can see it basically what the heck is that frame rate so as you can see it does use everything your gpu can throw at it so do make sure to specify the frame rate before you just jump into it and start recording so if we just specify a frame rate so let's say 60 for example or again if you do have a high refresh rate monitor always make sure to use that high refresh rate so it can look silky smooth or you can slow down however much you want without having choppiness so let me just do that and there you go it has started recording i'll just do the same firefox and there you go i closed it and if I just hit Control C again, make sure to do Control C instead of just closing out the terminal. Now, if I do media info on this, uh, and let me see, uh, there you go. As you can see, the frame rate on here says 60 FPS. So, if you want, always, always make sure to save your GPU resources or CPU resources while you're using this tool because it will use everything it can get. So, make sure to be as conservative as you can. So, so far, as you can already see the potential of this app, like tool where it's all based on terminal. You can customize every aspect of it, just like a normal screen recorder. But it's just, it, I don't know, like, get, like, frees you from like a billion options that you may find on like OBS and stuff, where you have frames, scenes, and all of that. And, like for simple records, like if you just want to record a screen for maybe showcasing your Hyperland desktop, you you just you don't need that much. Like this works just fine. So also, when actually specify geometry. Now this geometry 
Now, uh, what I found out at this point is that this geometry works differently from the slurp geometry, where uh, I think the geometry aspect it didn't quite work for me, but it just sets the resolution. It's like if you want a different resolution, it just records it at that resolution. I think so. I tried six forty, and I think it did show that it isn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it it didn't quite work. Let me just check it. So and I, I don't know why I tried to check it. Where I can tell what it is if I don't check on the media info. So if I just search, like open up media info in here, I should be able to see the framing of this. Um, where is it? Format, bitrate, frame rate. Hmm. I think I missed it at some point, but yeah, at this point I got frustrated and just installed the GUI version. At thinking that it would work so there we go now let me see type in the command that we need just use the gui and here it should show the frame uh, i don't know maybe i'm just uh, okay so here it is but it does show 1920 by 1080 i don't know why but again you guys can test it out and check it out if i did make a mistake on this but i don't know like i checked the usage and i think this is how to use it but eh, i don't know now as for this like mp4 thing make sure to use appropriate codecs whichever one you need like it supports a variety of codec again do check out the github page and also i did uh, check out like there if you have two monitors this can actually record like second monitors and stuff like it's not like it will always record the first one you can specify which monitor it should record from but again i'm doing this in a virtual machine just to showcase how it works so you can just say output virtual one it will just take the like display name which i can get from hyper ctl but in case you are confused i'll put the command on the display like screen so you guys can look i like find out which which uh, what are the displays that you are using and i think i mistyped the command so yeah anyway i think at this point you get the idea of how this all this works so make sure to check out the github page on everything that you need to know like that's probably a better place to understand how all of this works instead of just sticking around here and hoping it just works yeah it's a bit confusing now with that all of that out of the way like here's a few things like i would say good notes to have uh also you so make sure you have like pipeware wire plumber and piper pulse installed so make sure to get your piper hyper everything installed and also make sure to enable all of them as well to enable then you have to use the system ctl command and do not use sudo with this it kind of breaks if you do use sudo like for this specifically so make sure to just do system ctl dash user enable pipeware wire plumber and piper pulse in case you don't have that enabled and that will enable or create a system link for sim link for everything and it should work just fine this is for the audio of your uh, recorder so in case your audio is not working make sure to do this and here's a quick note this does not support i don't think it does support hardware encoding just yet but again for quick records it's fine so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel do check out the shop and also check out the patreon where everything will be uploaded with a few behind the scenes maybe you would like to have some fun and there is a new tier now so you can have every video ad free on to there and i'll see you guys in the next one bye here's a bonus script for anyone that is in here still this basically just takes the date and then uh, puts it in the file name of your recording so you can just run this script and it will automatically record the screen and have a file name attached to it and the possibility is endless make sure like if you do find any amazing scripts that you want to write with it uh, leave them in the description or maybe show me in the discord server and i'll see you guys again bye